This is a brief overview of using Blackboard to define test availability exceptions. So when you have a test in Blackboard and you have a student who needs accommodations either for um, extra time or a window of time to take the test that's different than the rest of the class, this is how you can set that up. So in this example course, I have a test that was last available to the rest of the class on November 11th, and let's say I have a student who is making up the test and needs extra time for uh, an accommodation. So I can do that by editing this tests options, and on the test options page I can scroll down and locate the test availability exceptions area. Here I can click add user or group and select the student, so let's say Colin needs to make up the test and he needs extra time. So I'm going to select him and click sub Submit. And now here is where I can customize the settings for his attempt of at the test. So where everyone else um, had two tem attempts, maybe I want to give him best out of three attempts. He and under timer, where everybody else had 15 minutes, let's say I'm going to give this student double the time, so I'll give him 30 minutes and where everyone else had the test auto submit after the timer I can take auto submit off for the student so if they need additional time beyond the 30 minutes they can use that. Now here's where you schedule the availability of this test attempt under availability. So you could see all the other students based off of the, these uh, availability dates and times here this test is no longer available to the class as a whole but for this test availability exception for Colin, I can make this test available to him based off dates that I define. So I'm going to say this test becomes available, this test should become available um, start of the day today, that was at 12 a.m. and then I can say that this test becomes unavailable to the student on Monday at end of day. Okay, so I'm going to click Save and those are the test attempt um, settings that will apply just to this student. So I'm going to click Submit, and on the screen here, I'll scroll down, I can see that my test looks like it's available, but it also has a little status message here letting me know that it's available, but some students or groups may not have access. That's an indication that this is selectively being released to a student based off a test availability exception. Okay, so I'm going to go to this course as Colin. Okay, and I'm going to go in and make sure I can access the test. So here I'm going to go in week one, and I can see that the test is here for me to access. So let's just go ahead and complete it. True or false, red is a secondary color. That's false, red is a primary color. Which of the following colors is a neutral color? Black. Okay. And I'm just going to finish out the test by answering the questions, clicking Save and Submit. So this student was able to access the test and complete the test based on those availability exceptions that the instructor defined. Now just to ensure that no other student can get to this test, I'm going to log in as a different student. So I'm logging in as Brett. I'll go to Courses and I will access the course. I'll go to my weekly lessons. And that test is not available to me because that exception was only for Colin. So we know that this is working correctly. Okay, so that is how you set up your test availability exceptions if you need to release a test selectively to individual students or give them additional time if you need to make an accommodation.